These are some of the easiest exercises to do. They're called Kegel exercises. I think everyone knows what they are, but not nearly everyone does them as much as they should. To perform a proper Kegel exercise, you want to contract the muscles that you would to stop the flow of urine or gas. By contracting these muscles, you should almost feel a lifting of the pelvic floor. That's how you know that you're doing exercises correctly. So what you want to do, it's not just actually doing the exercise, but it's holding this contraction for up to 10 seconds. Think about these muscles working throughout the entire day as you're standing, walking, and moving. They need to be pretty strong over long periods of time to support the uterus and the baby. So when you do these exercises, you're going to contract, hold for 10 seconds, and then relax. You want to work up to three sets of 10 of these exercises. After your 14th week of pregnancy, it's not recommended to lie supine anymore. For this reason, getting into quadruped or on your hands and knees is a really great position to start strengthening your core muscles. So coming into this position, you want to make sure that your hands are under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. And you can just work in this position just on some mobility. So kind of just inhaling and rolling your hips under, or tucking your tailbone under to create more of an arch in your spine, and then coming back down into extension. As we start to work on stability, we want to focus on more of a neutral spine, so keeping your back flat through here. So think about tightening your core muscles or bringing your pubic bone up towards your belly button and just holding that contraction, creating a neutral spine back through here. So you can hold that for about five seconds and then relax. If you're having a hard time feeling this contraction, you can initiate it with a Kegel exercise. So contracting those lower abdominal muscles, and you should just feel kind of a um, subtle kind of tightness back through there. As these exercises start to get easy, you can just come into a nice neutral position. And from here, you can lift one arm up, holding for about five seconds and coming back down. And then again, on the other side, the whole time maintaining that neutral spine. You want to make sure that you don't kind of let this sag down. So I always recommend resetting in between exercises, tightening your core, and getting your back nice and neutral. As the arms get easy, you can start to add legs. An easier leg option is to just slide a leg back and come in. Again, reset, tight core, neutral back, and then slide the other one out and come in. As that gets easy, you can lift them off the table. So again, reset, tight core, and lift up and come back down, and then again on the other side, tight core, and lift up. When you're lifting your leg, you want to be really careful that you're not rotating through your spine. So this is what that would look like. This is what you should not do. So don't lift and rotate. You want to keep your hips nice and neutral, facing the ground, back flat, core nice and tight, and stable, and come in. As the legs get easy, then you can start to combine the arms and the legs. So again, reset, tight core, neutral spine. You can do an arm and a leg and come back in. And as that gets easy, you can lift and do the arm and the leg and come back in.